The Honourable Member for Seine River. Thank you, Madam Speaker. It is with great pleasure that I had the opportunity to address the Chamber on International Women's Day. In 1911, the first International Women's Day was honoured in Austria, Denmark, Germany and Switzerland, and it was proclaimed an official day by the United Nations General Assembly in 1977. March 8th is a global day celebrating the social, economic, cultural and political achievements of women, past, present and future. This day also marks a call to action for accelerating gender parity. The United Nations General Secretary Antonio Guterres recently stated that gender equality has a transformative effect that is essential to fully functioning communities, societies and economies. Women's access to education and health services has benefited for their families and communities that extend to future generations. An extra year in school can add up to 25% to a girl's future income. When women participate fully in the labor force, it creates opportunities and generates growth. Closing the gender gap in employment could add $12 trillion to global GDP by 2025. Increasing the proportion of women in public institutions makes them more representative, increases innovation, improves decision making, and benefits whole societies. Madam Speaker, I could not agree more with these words. The 2017 International Women's Day campaign is Be Bold for Change, which focuses on forging a better working world and minimizing the gender gap to move closer to gender parity. I invite my colleagues to engage in these endeavors both here at home in Manitoba and on an international scale. Thank you.